Mother dear, I have an announcement to make. I am 11 years of age. Do you know what this means? You're at the ripe age I was when I wed your father, who is 72, senile, and suffering from bone madness. Correct! That means I am now a man, free to make my own decisions. And I have decided to become a bodybuilder. What's this pod snappery, Byron? You plan to start lifting weights like some kind of circus strongman freak? No, mother! A bodybuilder! I wish to assemble grotesque monstrosities and battle them with the abominations of strangers. And I want to do it unsupervised. Oh, very well. Quite lovely. It's England sometime in the 1800s, one of the freest times to be a child. Uh, hello, Mum. Your chimneys are cleaner than me lungs are black. <coughs> so be it. I shall set off entirely on my own on a solitary journey of adventure. Aloysius, carry my bags and hum dramatically as we exit. Someone must have poured this ether on me favorite rag and forced me to huff that sweet, sweet vapor. Professor Knox, I am Byron Oakington III of the tastefully inbred Oakingtons. I understand you dabble in the science of bodybuilders. I insist you bestow one such creation unto moi. You want me to give away one of my rare creations to some mutton-headed child who broke into my lab all willy-nilly? Aloysius, offer the professor our finest vintage ether, the, uh, 68. Ah, uh, that was a great year for ether. Behold, I have constructed a fleshy orb that has sprouted vegetation from its back. Also lots of scabs. I have dubbed it... Bulb of souls. Next, I submit for your approval with the speed of a turtle combined with the might of a squid. We turtle! And finally, a salamander imbued with the power of flame. I present Char. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, oh, I remember what happened there, right? It's scratch, scratch it. Ignore that. Ignore it. We're moving on. I'm interested in choices, but none are piquing my interest to choose. Yes, none peak. Uh. Choose. Pretty sure that's not how words work. Uh, but I have been hoping lots of ether. Ooh, what creature is this? That little fellow is known as Failed Rat Experiment 6. <laughs> I used galvanism to electrify a common rat, I did. Truly a wretched being, totally unmarketable. Splendid, I'll take it. Oh, wise choice, laddie. Now, come with me. Let me show you how battling works. I shall enter Squid Turtle, and you put in Electric Rat, who is, by the way, completely unsettling and wholly unappealing to children. Could never support a brand, I imagine. And whom's creature takes first turn? What in blazes are you yammering about, child? Turns. Turns! They just go at it. We left turns behind when we started building homunculi for sport, despoiling the will of God Almighty for profit. Ah, yes, jolly good. Rat creature, attack! <coughs> oh, well played, lad. Squid Turtle has been completely batty-fanged, making Electric Vat the victor! Huzzah! A mafficking triumph! What comes next for a young bodybuilder such as myself? Well, it's up to you, in it. You can explore the region, capture new and exotic creatures, form everlasting bonds with your champions, and also Gonna you can- Gonna stop you there. I'm a privileged rich child who has no empathy toward anyone. Really would rather fill some sort of rival role, you know, just messing with the plans of others. Jesus wept! Really? No reaction? Right, like I said, zero empathy. Huh. That's neat, ain't it? My monster has perished in battle, leaving me with nothing. 
besides my massive family fortune and a guaranteed future of pampered frivolity. Butler, mourn for me. It is really quite tragic, sir. I shall not be mocked, Aloysius. The only usable piece that remains from my electric rat monster is this mm -hmm. gross giant eye. Without a body to attach it to, it's just a eye that is giantly gross. Very good, sir. Shall we scour the tall grass for a new monster body? Don't be absurd. We must visit the body part buffet, the endless smorgasbord of people pieces. The cemetery, sir? No, the river at the center of town. It's disgusting. Too waterlogged, too old, too stabbed to death, too Irish. <gasps> Ooh. A creature as mysterious and exotic as it is venerated for its great beauty. An opossum. Excuse me, sir. Are you going to eat that? We are ever so hungry. The only thing I'll be tasting is victory. And then a nice big warm dinner. Free of lead. Are you ready to upgrade your creature, Byron? There will be no stopping this process, even if you hold B. B, of course, referring to my emergency shutoff switch, which is marked with the second letter of the alphabet. I'm ready, Professor Knox. Let's evolve failed rat experiment six to his new form. Actually, evolution is a relatively new theory that the scientific community has yet to embrace. It might be more accurate to say failed rat experiment six is creationism. Ing. Okay, well, failed rat experiment number six is creationism. -ing. Uh, also, this might take a minute. <sighs> Oh! Fail's rat experiment has been upgraded! With his one big eye that constantly peeks at you, I shall now call him Eye Possum. Be wary, fellow bodybuilders, because this Eye Possum's got claws and rabies. And rabies! Rabies, really. You there, bodybuilder! Mine creature is freshly augmented and foaming at the eye for the chance to call his shangle a foe in fearsome battle. Well met, fellow bodybuilder, but I must decline. We're simply relishing a bucolic stroll through this soupy fog of London. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, my bad, he's rabid. Quit it, I possibly you're embarrassing me. I said quit it. Quit it! Alright, oh, all eye no ears. Hi, I'm Andrew from Dorkly. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just $15 a month, I thought, okay, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all makes sense. There just isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce? They're the first company to sell their wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no more crazy overhead costs to get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Mint just passes on the savings straight to you. Before Mint Mobile, I was paying a lot for pretty shoddy service. But now that I'm on Mint Mobile, I'm paying practically nothing, and all of my calls are coming in crystal clear. It's great. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, with high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan, and you can keep your same phone number plus all of your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their 7-day money-back guarantee. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash dorkly. That's mintmobile.com slash dorkly. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash dorkly. Madam, that's England talk for hi. I understand this is an infirmary specifically for bodybuilders. Can someone here treat my dear creature who has been injured in battle? Fret not, young Chuckaboo. I'm Surgeon Chuff, licensed phrenologist, and this is my assistant Chauncey. <laughs> Let's have a quick candery, creature. <laughs> well, these injuries don't look so bad. 
We'll get to amputating the limbs in danger of necrosis and gangrene and start tossing some leeches on to suss out the bad blood. Huzzah! A simple and elegant medical procedure. Truly, we live in an age of wonder and progress. Look, <laughs> sound healing! Worry not, dear creature, for you shall soon be well. At which point, I shall force you to battle again. There! Whew. Got all the limbs sawed off, filled the stumps with maggots to chew out the rotten flesh, and now there's just the minor matter of our payment! Payment? But I thought this was a house of healing, an institution built upon a foundation of charity. Well, sure it is, and charity don't come cheap. Between the cost of the hacksaw, the maggots, and the overhead of all the mops it's going to take to clean up this blood, you're looking at a bill of... 20 years of indentured huh? servitude. 20 years? That seems excessive, but it's a small price to pay for my beloved creature's health. <laughs> oh, got to add corpse removal to the bill. Better make it 22 years. Frankly, Surgeon Chuff, I don't think this is how medical institutions should work. I think you should actually heal our creatures, free of charge. What more righteous purpose could there be for our government funds than essential health care? And this now counts as a consultation. Let's call it an even 25 years. Never! <gasps> Stop that odd skull child! He owes 25 years of servitude plus sales tax! <laughs> Another victim of the mainstream medical industry, eh? How did you know? I'd notice their handiwork anywhere. Not them Bathuslers and Hornswalkers they are, but I've got something that could cure your creature's ailments. J.A. Bailey's Miracle Revenant Tonic! You can bring my creature back from the dead with that bottle? Don't believe me, your first is free. <laughs> Ah, the potion works! Don't worry, I'll get you some replacement limbs soon, my creature. And what of you, Alley Stranger, distributing mysterious fluids? As I said, your first is free, but all further purchases will cost you. But essential pharmaceuticals shouldn't be so costly. I'm beginning to suspect the entire medical profession has been tinged by greed. <laughs> There you are, child. You owe me a lot of slavery. Beat it, you quack. This is my mark. We'll see what my hacksaws have to say about that, you malmsy nosed ratbag. I've got enough potions to fight you for a decade, you jib face wagtail. Boy, I'm beginning to suspect medicine in the 1800s, which is now, isn't all that great. <laughs> You said it, creature. We are going to have to rely on each other in our adventures through the region. Dear heavens, Aloysius, look! We must act quickly to save this boy's legs. This boy's legs. We gotta touch them to eye possum. Lester and Lydia, my new orphan underlings, what monster parts did you steal, Nick and Thieve, in the name of Team Dirigible? Good day, Mr. O'Vonny. Me swift daddles found us a cat anus. An eye trousered, another cat anus. We slapped them together into Sphinxster! <laughs> Gods above, that's a cat? Yes, sir, back abs only. Except we attached a lung to one of the anuses, so it can breathe. I guess you could say that we took trouble, in this case cat anuses, and made it double. Uh, let me get this straight. I heard you to steal parts from bodybuilders. And all you come back with is cat anuses you found on the street. We would have stole the cat anuses if we could have. But we don't much care for stabbing people. Yeah! What if they get hurt? From stabbing? That's the point, you vasy meters! Look, I was an enforcer for the fiercest gang in all the city. The rude lads, the peaky blinders, and every pinch and liver mutton shutter in the city would shake with fear when they'd hear our name. The Winky Peepers. And I 
give it up for what? This new bodybuilder craze. For this. Huh, I think we're done here. It's time for Team Dirigible to pack it in. We can't give up now, Mr. Ovani. We've tried robbing people the Winky Peepers way. Stabby, stabby. Let us try the Team Dirigible way. Rhyme and interpretive dancey. Eh, fuck it. What ho, I possum! Put those husky child legs to use! One, two, one, two! One for the queen and one for you! Brace for a predicament! Reduce strength to your equivalent! To shield this earth from Armageddon! To resurrect beasts what was deadened! To dispel the sins of kindness and heart! To unite cat butts what once were apart! Lester! Lydia! Team Dirigible, take off at the speed of steam! Debase yourselves and join our team! Ahaha, <laughs> <laughs> I was worried we had stumbled across some sort of criminal enterprise, but it appears to be nothing more than a theatre troupe for the mentally diseased. <laughs> 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 Aloysius, burn the anus cat and urinate on the ashes. I'm afraid I cannot urinate, sir. Old war injury. Ah, of course, how funny. So, burn the anus cat, then empty the satchel that collects thine urine upon the ashes. Very good, sir. Dreadfully <laughs> sorry about this. Oh, it's no shite off me arse.